Hey, what's up everyone? How you guys doing, man? I'm borrowing someone else's laptop. Yeah, I'm at a friend's house right now. So, here to make this quick prediction of tonight's pay-per-view, Over the Limit, which is what I'm so excited about. So, we have tonight's matches. Um, Rey Mysterio versus R-Truth. I have to say, Rey Mysterio is picking up the win for sure. I mean, of course he's uh, going to pick up the win um, and going to bury R-Truth. Well, so R-Truth continue his heel run. So even if he does, R Truth does pick up the win. I think um, he's gonna pull up a, probably an upset win. So Rey Mysterio is gonna get a huge upper hand in that match for sure. Next match: Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole, the Kiss My Foot match. Michael Cole's winning this one. I think what happened on uh, Monday when Jack Swagger walked out on Michael Cole because he said nobody remembers him being world champion. I think that's just a plan, so that yeah, practically I think it's just a plan so that um. You know, they could trick Jerry Lawler and then Michael Cole picks up the victory. So, I have to say, that's going to be easy setup. <laughs> I see it coming a mile away. Hey, Jenny. Again. <laughs> Sin Cara versus Java Guerrero. Obviously, Sin Cara is picking up the win. I mean, he's just so invincible right now. And he's on an incredible, incredible run. I don't see Chavo Guerrero picking up this win. I mean, he is an incredible, incredible wrestler. But Sin Cara is picking up the win for sure. Next match, Divas Champion Brie Bella versus Kelly Kelly. Brie Bella has to pick up the win. They need heels on SmackDown. They only have one heel right now, Alicia Fox. And with Layla injured right now, well, her, her reality, she had a knee injury. So she's going to be on a long hiatus. So Brie Bella and Natalia, it's good to see the Bella Twins being so refreshing right now. So they're doing a good run as a heel and good run as a Divas Championship. It's just, you know, they did botch on the face buster, but it was surprising they beat Natalia. She beat him clean, got a clean win over Natalia, which was surprising. So I was going for Brie Bella, so hopefully they could build up the Bella Twins even stronger, as stronger as heels, so they can build them up. So I don't, I don't know how many people is watching, but I know very few is going to be watching this match. Wade Barrett versus Secret Jackson. Wade Barrett's going to win this one. So, if they if he wins this one, I mean, they could drag on the feud. Ezekiel Jackson is going to continue hunting. But if Ezekiel wins, then they can have Wade Barrett hunting the champion. It's going to make the core look weaker, though. So, the core, apparently, is, um... I have to say, for the core, the core is going to continue to look strong without the champion. But Ezekiel Jackson, I think he may, uh... Ezekiel Jackson won't need to come over... But, you know, hopefully they continue the feud. So Wade Barrett, I think, needs the championship. He needs to come over. So hopefully when the feud wears out, he could feud on with other baby faces. Well, if Ezekiel Jackson wins, then he could feud with Mark Henry. That would be exciting. Mark Henry could be the fourth member of the core if they were to have one. Taxi Champions, Big Show, Kane versus CM Punk and Ryan. I have to say Big Show and Kane is going to be coming over this one for sure. Obviously, he's going to be coming over in... Um, Big Show is uh, Big Show and Kane, you know, have been having a good run as tag team champions, a dominant run. You know, with Big Show, you know, less of a he's less of a comic relief now. He's more of a in ring competitor. He's more focused and more determined, and something like that. And this is what I'm, I'm starting to like, even though he has that. Hopefully, he has that heelish attitude and still stay a face like he was in 2004 when he uh, was a baby face. So, I'll see where he goes from here. But Big Show and Kane's gonna win this one, sure. All right, world champion Randy Orton versus Christian. I have to say Randy Orton's winning this one. They're gonna try and play it safe for um, SmackDown because Randy Orton's the face of SmackDown, so they can continue this feud. I'm thinking Christian may turn heel for a little bit, but then eventually soon it'll be a short amount of time. So I have to say um, Randy Orton's gonna win this one, and then Christian may win it at Capital Punishment or Money in the Bank, either of those pay-per-views, and then Randy Orton may turn heel and have a. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase come and help out, and they can reunite Legacy from there. But uh, even though I'm not agreeing to the Legacy reunion because they did have an ugly breakup, so I wouldn't really be psyched about that happening. So, yeah, that's where I go from here. All right, this is the main event match that everyone's going to be talking about because it is the main event. John Cena versus The Miz in the I Quit match. Obviously, John Cena is going to win this one, but I wouldn't be too surprised if The Miz pull off the win. So, I'm not going 100% for Cena. I'm thinking The Miz may have a 25% chance of winning this match. Because John Cena won last year against Batista. Batista quit and left WWE. He actually wanted to quit because he wasn't happy with the PG product that they were having. But I don't blame him. 
Now Batista's doing MMA at 43 years old, so I don't know what he's doing right now, but hopefully The Miz doesn't quit WWE because he's having a great, incredible, incredible run for five years now. So, yeah, for five years he's been um, on uh, WWE so far, and this is just an incredible run for him. So hopefully for The Miz, they continue their feud for Cena. If The Miz wins this one, they can continue the feud. If John Cena wins this one, he's basically going to bury The Miz, and I don't really want that to happen. Hopefully, The wins, Miz pulls up an upset win at Capital Punishment. Hopefully, The Miz doesn't fire Alex Riley, because that's what I think may happen when he loses, because he's going to blame Alex Riley, and then Alex Riley could just stick around on SmackDown. <laughs> but Alex Riley needs to continue to get built up. I'm just, it's ludicrous that they're just going to bury him because he was incredible on NXT and he was just smoking on NXT, the varsity villain. They had a huge build up for him. So I know they have a future for him. He's going to become the new Miz with the Miz plans on leaving WWE or retiring, but he's just going to retire. So that's what I've been Miz has been a most improved wrestler in the ring also, equally as Layla is. So we'll see how much talent they exploit in the ring. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's quite my review for Over the Limit. I'll be tuning in. I mean, I don't have the money to buy the pay per view for Over the Limit, but hopefully I can see the results of what's going on for Over the Limit. This is the Red Dog Extreme, and I'm taking you to the extreme.